Back in the book segment tonight, we haven't talked with our pal Glenn Beck recently, so I demanded, demanded that he appear this evening. And here he is from Dallas. Yes. Thank Hello, you Bill. for uh, answering the call, Beck. Well, I, I I didn't know what that ringing was. And I'm like, it's a phone. Nobody calls. Uh huh. Well, I know you're a lonely guy, but we want you on here. You know, because I know that now you're talking on your radio program and your internet, whatever you do, you're all over. Uh, you're talking about the Tea Party. Yeah. Versus the Republican establishment, right? That's yes. the tension you see. Uh, no, I don't really care if there's any tension or not. I just don't think that the Republicans, um, I think the Republicans have betrayed um, their own values for so long. And there's a lot of people like me that that um, tried to push the, you know, the Republican Party into maybe, hey, why don't you have some common sense here? And all the way along, they have worked against the Tea Party and the people who understand the Constitution and want to live by the Constitution. And so I think they, the Tea Party has made themselves irrelevant. And it's time now just to, for me, maybe not for everybody else, but for me, I, I'm done with them. Um, so, and I'm, I'm looking for... But if, who are if, you done with? Who, who are you done with? The big government establishment Republicans. Okay. There's but people you... like Mike Lee that I would support. I'd support Rand Paul. He's a Republican. All right. But he is a small government constitutional. How about Marco Rubio? Mm. So, I, so. I, you know what? I haven't made my mind up on Marco Rubio right. yet. So I, he's I in consideration. Like I uh, you I, like Rand Paul. How about yeah. Christie, the Jersey guy? How about him? No. No go. No. Okay. I liked, you know what? I feel about Rand Paul the way I used to feel about Chris Christie. I thought Chris Christie was really good, and I ignored a few things that kind of bothered me. But now I I, uh, I don't like Chris Christie. Okay. Um, now, do you but, think do you think that the Tea Party um, can reorganize itself? Because remember, the, there's no central authority there. It's a state by state right. movement. Mm -hmm. Can it can it recapture its mojo, knowing that the press hates no, it? No, I don't think they. I don't really care what the press thinks. I think that anybody who starts to stand up for um, uh, for small government, and especially if it's led by somebody like um, uh, Rand Paul, it can have success. Now, uh, libertarians tend to eat their own. It, you know, if you don't fall in line, lockstep. I mean, it's the strangest thing with these libertarians. Some of the fringe libertarians, um, they, um, they, they somehow or another believe in maximum freedom unless you disagree with them. Then you, and then you can't it. be in the right. yeah. Then you can't be in the camp. Okay, um, so you're not too optimistic about the Tea Party rising unless there's a standard bearer, somebody like. No, I think that I look. I think to lead. I, I'm, I am. I am sure that the Republicans will become less and less relevant as every day that goes by. They're becoming, if they're not already, the Whig Party because they've betrayed everything yeah, of value. But I don't think it, look, I think if the economy continues to be bad, yeah. that you're going to have a viable candidate in 2016. Now, whether it's Rubio or Christie or Rand Paul, I don't know, but I don't, I don't the see the Republican are the Party ones, dissipating. The, the Republicans are the ones that have been saying that we have to become more moderate. More moderate? Are you kidding me? Here's the most moderate position. Stop spending our money that we're working hard for. Stop putting us in debt. That's a pretty moderate. Hey, listen, um, I don't idea. disagree with that. I think it's all about leadership, though. All right, now.